what I'm about to show you is a easy method for someone that normally does um, stitch in a ditch quilting. This is matchstick quilting. And matchstick quilting is when you sew your lines close together. Okay. So you can see some, there is some matchstick quilting. There is some matchstick quilting. And what I did, I started my, the, what I'm going for is the red, white, and blue. So I sewed each line individually. I started like with a red line in the middle. Then you have the, so I did red, white, blue, and there's a red, and then it's red, white, blue. And then there's another red. And then so red, white, blue, and there's another red. And my line, I sewed them diagonal, as you can see. I used the painter's tape to make the first line. Okay, I also did a few short videos on me doing this matchstick quilting. So you can go on my shorts tab and check those videos out. So here I am about to sew a blue line because there's the red, there's the white. Now I'm coming in with the blue right here. And this line here is what I'm using as a guide. So you can kind of see how I'm trying to line this white line with this little line on my sewing machine. I have a 9014 needle in my machine. If I was piecing, it would be an 8012. But since I'm actually sewing all three layers of this um, item together, this patchwork placement, uh, I have my 9014 needle in here. Okay, and it does make a difference. I'm also using 50 weight thread. Okay, with a silk finish. So silk finish thread is 50 weight. Okay. So yeah, so that's basically how I got it done. And then I have one that's completely done. Let's see. Which is this one here. So each triangle is going to look like this. Okay, so you can kind of see how I have it design okay and then that's the progress on that one and that's the matchstick quilting on that one this is the one that i'm currently working on and this one is almost finished but not quite finished but yeah this is some matchstick quilting you know yeah so you just keep it let's see if i can sew with the camera. And then I just sew a few lines close together and I move my stitch length from one to like four and a half. And then keep going. And with, I start on a one oh, out of five stitch lines, so it's number one, and then I finish on one. Yeah, so I'll go back to one. And I try not to go into the next triangle. Let me see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll quit here. Yeah, so this is it. So yeah, this is the guy. So you can use this edge of the walking foot as a guide. You can use this as a guide. You can use this right here as a guide. So it's, you know, different parts of this walking foot that you can use as a guide. Most time I use this one, but since mesh stick, I'm using this one, this one right here. So, thanks for watching.
match stay good. Hold it like that. Okay. So let's take it out. It came out pretty good. Where's the other three? Okay, there it is. So then, just... Okay. So then I take... Can you see me? What I'm doing? Okay. So, that's the thread. And then this is a thread I will cut. Okay. Just stay right where you at. Then I will pull this out. Cut this. Turn my machine off. Then come in right there. Okay, so then I will take this. Cut a little bit. Put this in a knee darning needle. And then bury my thread. Can you see this? Okay. Like this, trying to go in front of that little point right there. And this is how I bury my thread. Put it out like that. Cut it. Go back on the other side. And I do each individual thread like this. This one, this one, get my darning thread, darning needle, and Do each individual three like this once I finish. Where's the other one? So one more. Just cut some of it off. You really don't need no more than what's really necessary to uh, bury the thread. Get your darning needle. Pretty one that's kind of thin. Because some darning needles seem to be thicker than others. So a little thin cheap darn needle not a heavy one because they got some that's way thicker than other than like when they start making darn needles that thick my i'm gonna be too 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 big in diameter too too round too thick of too heavy like so just bearing it then just pull it out and cut it cut it flush okay and then let's go back and see what I got. Where was it? Let's see. Wasn't that right there? Zoom in on it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Check you later.